Kuzampola, across Hindu Kush Himalaya, communities are witnessing rapid change, melting glaciers, unstable slopes and growing waste challenges. At this regional conference, eight countries came together to share what they see and what they fear. This conference is timely when the whole region of the Hindu Kush Himalaya is facing a rapid change in climate, urbanization and how do we compact these changes. If I talk about India, the whole North Northeast region is facing rapid change in landslides and uh, weather conditions. The change we are observing is a global phenomenon. The modern construction paradigm driven by speed and cost is challenging our traditional vernacular methodology. This implies that even in remote areas, traditional construction is in silent competition with materials like reinforced concrete. Fortunately, due to the collective efforts of various entities, Bhutan has not just observed this challenge, we have initiated action. We have policy incentives and technical practice demonstrated by the elaborate documentation and construction guidelines we have developed for techniques like ram dirt and stone masonry construction. The challenges are that uh, there is no source separation of the waste and uh, waste is collected in mixed form and when they collect in mixed form so it is uh, it cannot be converted into any product so uh, that is one challenge and another challenge is that the community members are also not much aware of the uh, negative impacts of these uh, waste material and uh, so we should uh, involve community members and we should uh, spread awareness about their negative impacts so that they can uh, participate in uh, managing uh, various uh, managing it at various levels due to the climate change our natural resources are declining every day and people are tending to embrace a modern adaptions more and more as a result you can see that um, people are using more hybrid um, solutions and they are going for it more um, spontaneously so the country like Nepal and uh, the region of Asia and the Pacific immensely suffers from natural disasters. We are countries who have experienced and seen massive impacts of climate change. And having said that, with so much of the impact and destruction, our time is really limited to find out solutions. And we see over the years we have unprecedented rate of floods and landslides and natural disasters that we are not able to yet solve. So I really think the risks and challenges are massive, but we have to really come as a development community, as private sector, as academia, as civil society, as people who care for the environment, people who care for humanity, to really come together and see how can we work together. So over the last three years we have been very busy um, putting together recommendations for uh, a new future pathway for regenerative construction. What does it mean? What does this mean? Building with nature-based materials such as timber, hemp, um, uh, bamboo and so on and to really uh, bring uh, Bhutan back on the track of carbon neutrality. So we are very happy to, to have launched this here and we are very happy that, uh, that this also will pick, be picked up uh, in the next uh, years to come and not only from a power timber region but also from the GMC development. So um, I've been talking about a system from China, which the uh, which uh, the company, the the private sector, came first uh, with the proposal because they know what is viable for the economy and the, what is viable for the market. So actually, the local authorities first uh, introduced the innovative uh, uh, companies, small sized and medium enterprises, into the system, and then they start to propose to the uh, local authorities about uh, like bamboo projects. And as the countries voiced their concerns, the event also marked a major step forward, launching new tools to guide safer, greener settlements. One, Bhutan Roadmap, a plan to guide safer, greener, low-carbon mountain settlements. Two, good practices for safe and resilient settlements, a regional guide showing what works to make settlements safer and more resilient. Three, lighthouse cities for sanitation, an initiative showcasing cities leading in climate, resilient, affordable sanitation. In one of the world's most fragile mountain systems, the message is clear. The challenges are shared and now so are the solutions. This is Yushi Dolma for Bhutan Today News with cameraman Ugentile.